Hello everyone, my name is Ryan uh, coming to you from DL Academy. So in this um, tutorial series, we are going to be making a Python Instagram bot. Now what this means is that we are going on Instagram and we're going to be making a Python program that allows us to gain a lot of followers and a lot of likes. To do this, we're going to be using Python, which is a computer programming language, which you can find here. We're also going to be using libraries such as Selenium, Selenium, right there, and Beautiful Soup. Now, if you don't know Python, I highly advise you to go check out our Udemy course. Uh, right here learn Python for beginners which will explain everything you need to know to get started with this um, Python bot programming series you can find all the information and all the knowledge required to become a Python developer and make applications on your own now with this out of the way let's get started to coding now what is a bot a bot is a program which um, goes online and completes specific tasks that you assign it to repeatedly over and over again so a bot is an automated software which can perform a certain task in our case it's gonna be an online bot which means that it's gonna go on the Instagram web page and it's gonna perform certain tasks that we're gonna program it to over and over again now make sure you have Python installed and downloaded um, if you follow our tutorial series uh, we're gonna show you exactly how to do so and without further ado let's get started alright so let's get started so first let's open our terminal by typing in CMD and we're gonna install some libraries so type in pip install pip install uh, we're going to start by uh, installing Selenium. Just type in pip install Selenium. Alright, uh, after that we're going to be installing Beautiful Soup. So pip install uh, Beautiful Soup. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try uh, beautiful soup four. Maybe this is gonna work. All right. And yep, uh, that's it. That's all we need. Uh, as for the libraries, that's all we need. So first, let's start by saving our project. So um, we can go anywhere. Uh, I'll go in documents, uh, Udemy course. No, no, no. Um, I'll create a new folder. Create a new folder right there. Uh, call it IG BT, IG bot. And then we're going to start by saving this program as main.py. Alright, so we're going to start by importing some libraries. So we're going to say from Selenium, uh, import web driver. Web driver. We're also going to be uh, saying from Selenium dot web driver dot common dot by import by with a capital B uh, we're gonna say from selenium dot web driver dot support dot UI import web driver wait capital W capital D capital W again uh, we're gonna be saying from selenium dot 
web driver dot support again import um, expected condition expected underscore conditions and then we can we're gonna type in as EC we're gonna be importing beautiful soup for so in um, as EC we're gonna be importing beautiful soup for BS4 as uh, no from BS4 import um, beautiful soup and we're gonna be saying as B we're gonna be also importing our time library now let's save the program go into our terminal type in CD documents because that's where we saved it documents CD uh, IGBT and then we're gonna run our main.py program now we ran this with an error it says there's an error cannot import name by okay so the error was there's a capital B right here now let's run it again and the program executed successfully uh, all right now uh, let's create uh, a main function called main uh, right now for now we're not we're gonna type in pass so now we're gonna say if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal uh, is equal to open parentheses uh, open quotation marks uh, underscore underscore main underscore underscore and then if this is true just simply run the main function and so this worked we're gonna say print running scripts and as you can see uh, the program is running uh, successfully and now we have a main function which is the heart of our program now um, let's just simple uh, let's simply create a driver variable so we're gonna be saying driver driver equals zero all right and then here we're gonna be saying driver as a global variable so global driver uh, once again if you don't understand anything of this go check out our Udemy course tutorial on how to learn Python it's gonna explain everything uh, you need to know to follow this tutorial so we're gonna initialize our driver variable we're gonna be saying driver equals web driver and then we're gonna be using an object which is called Chrome and inside of here we need to input um, the download path right here inside the parentheses so for me it's uh, C colon user slash Ryan slash desktop Chrome driver so now what this does is it creates a driver so it's gonna be creating the Chrome web page the automated software by using this driver that we downloaded from the internet now if we run the program simply go in documents and then run main.py we're gonna be seeing that the program opened a Chrome web driver for us and this is assigned to our variable which we called driver now this is it for today's video in the next video we're gonna be starting to create a class for our Instagram uh, login system so we're gonna be logging to our Instagram account and that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video